Well, Sam, welcome to Hamptons.com. You are starring right now, co-starring with Alec Baldwin in Guildhall's brilliant revival of Equus. Yes. How did you end up getting the show? The director of our play, Tony Walton, and I uh, previously worked together on a production of Candida. And while we were while we were in rehearsal for that, he was uh, talking about you know what plays, other plays are you interested in doing. And I mentioned, oh, Alan Strang and Equus is a role I've always wanted to play. And he was like, oh, great. So he was going off to a meeting that evening with Alec Baldwin to discuss doing a project at Guildhall. So that very evening, Alec then turns around to Tony and says, you know. I've, I've always wanted to play Martin Dysart in Equus, and he was like, okay. So the very next day, he comes into rehearsals for Candida, and he asks me, do you mind if a, a playwright friend of mine comes to watch one of the rehearsals? Oh, no. And I was like, absolutely, you know, of course, not a problem at all. So in walks Sir Peter Schaffer, and <laughs> I was like, hi, um, yes, I'm very aware of who you are, you know, all this, that, and the other. And um, so we do the run through of the play and it uh, gets to the very end and uh, Tony pulls me aside and uh, chatting to Peter and he says, um, so we're thinking of doing a production of Equus this summer. <laughs> Would you be interested in playing Alan? And I collapsed. It was uh, um, the most interesting turn of coincidence ever to happen. You, you know, you had three heavyweights you were working with, Alec Baldwin, Tony Walton, and of course, one of the greatest living British playwrights in, in Sir Peter. It was mentioned that he made some changes to the play from its original production. What he's essentially done is um, given Alan some different layers, and he's also really balanced out a lot between Dysa and Alan, because sometimes the play can come across a more Alan-heavy show, sure. or some productions it can be a more Dysa heavy show. This is, I feel much more that the play is very balanced. And Sir Peter said this um, in a conversation I had with him about the play, and I was like, we're, we all feel very lucky that we have you involved in the process because it's not very often that actors get to work one-on-one -on -one with the playwright. And we're all here to serve you as the playwright. And he says, uh-uh, you're not here to serve me. We're all here to serve the play. Mm -hmm. he, he deals with contemporary issues, but his language is just, it, it just verges breaking into this classical, um, uh, gorgeous, uh, melodic writing. Um, so to be able to discuss not only Equus, but these other plays of his, yeah, it does open things up, and I really hope to be able to do that in the future. Regarding the audience, regarding the facility at Guildhall, you probably didn't expect what you found here, did you? There was some points when, um, you know, moving out here, where I was like, I wonder how the audience is going to receive this, because it is, it, it, it's shocking, it, it's intense, it's dark. So to have the most generous welcome and reception from the people, not just on opening night, not just at the previews, but from every night afterwards, and then to walk through East Hampton during the day and have you know the people say, we saw the show last night, it was absolutely wonderful, like that community type of feel um, has been breathtaking. Outside the theater, mm -hmm. what are you doing socially? Uh, be going out at night, uh, favorite restaurants? Um, favorite restaurants wise went to um, uh, a great place called Chita Nueva. Myself and Alec went for dinner there one night and uh, I, I loved it. I got this octopus salad and it was like this huge tentacle of octopus and I was like, that's awesome. Um, but my favorite thing has been, I was able to bring my dog out with me um, okay. <laughs> uh, to the Hamptons and the, the place where I'm being put up, uh, Bend in the Road Guest House, is uh, bit enabled me to sit out in the back garden during the day, um, lying in a hammock, read a book, read a play, um, and that has been the most relaxing part of my year probably so mm -hmm. far. There's actually other theaters, that, you know, we have the Bay Street Theater. Absolutely, which um, I'll be visiting next week. And they've now just uh, made a deal with Equity to convert in the wintertime to a 99-seat theater. Oh, that's wonderful. So they're going to continue productions through the winter. Well, that's great. You know, if there's a winter season going on at Bay Street, I'd absolutely love to uh, drop my headshot and resume down there. It's a wonderful place to be, and I'd love to come back out at some point. And you are the artistic director of the Fundamental Theatre Project. Yes, indeedy. And uh, that is actually a support group for emerging playwrights right now. Why don't you talk about that a little bit and what's coming up? Absolutely. The, the whole idea behind the company is about creating opportunities for artists to work, whether that be actors, uh, playwrights, directors, um, emerging people, working hand in hand with established professionals. We have these um, reading series every other week called Think Tank. Right, which you are actually going to be 
doing at Guild Hall. Right, absolutely. Coming up July... Yeah, July 1st, next July week. July 1st, right, next week. July 1st, midday, <laughs> John Drew Theatre, Shrivings by Peter Schaffer. And literally all that is, is a get-together of a group of actors. We pick a play, um, we, cu we cast it, or we get together and like we throw different roles around. And we sit around a table and we read a play. That is the basics of what an actor is considered as like going to a gym, you know, flexing their muscles. Mm -hmm. And then from that, from that core group of people, that this company, so to speak, um, to produce the most um, high quality, thrilling, mm -hmm. theatrical productions um, around. Equus will be running until? July 3rd. July 3rd. July 3rd. Okay, July 3rd at Guildhall. Next week, we have the reading of the Fundamental Theatre Project at Guildhall yes, as well. You can and check us out at www.fundamentaltheatreproject.com. There we go. And we'll see you around the island, uh, hopefully, in the East End. You certainly will do. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. It. Appreciate it. Sam Underwood.